Hello dear friends, welcome in Pharmaceutical Chemistry to Laboratory. Today we are going to deal with identification test. Myself, Mrs. Urmila Ravindra Gaudi, MPAM in Quality Assurance. Today's experiment is experiment number 21. Title, to perform and report identification test on given sample of quinine sulfate as per Indian Pharmacopoeia. Learning Objective intellectual skill to understand the concept of the experiment to analyze and interpret the observation motor skills ability to write systemic analytical report ability to handle equipment take and record observation ability to refer standard literature and indian pharmacopoeia new concepts proposition first organoleptic description it is perfo it is the information in respect of nature odor and taste of the drug Proposition 2. Solubility. Statement of the solubilities are indicated by descriptive terms and are intended to apply at 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. This is the table which indicates the meaning of term used in the statement of approximate solubility. That means, for example, if the description said that it is very soluble, that means it is soluble in less than 1 ml of solute. Then proposition 3, identification test. These are the tests to verify that the article being examined is in the accordance with the label on the container. Failure of an article taken from the label container to meet the requirement of prescribed identification test indicated that the article may be mislabeled or substituted. These tests are not, not necessarily sufficient to establish absolute proof of identity. Proposition 4. Pharmaceutical category. Pharmaceutical category of the drug deals with its pharmaceutical or medicinal uses like antibacterial. General concept structure. First of all, we have to perform description of the test. After that, we have to perform solubility in the different solvent and then identification as per IP. After performing identification test, we got whether the sample complies or does not comply the test as per IP. Apparatus, glassware required are thylst tube, test tube, capillary and the chemicals are alcohol, chloroform, ether, bromine water, dilute sulfuric acid, dilute ammonia solution and barium chloride solution. For actual stepwise procedure, we move towards laboratory. Start the identification of given quinine sulfate sample. This is the sample of quinine sulfate. This is crystalline powder, white color and almost odorless. Now second solubility test we have to perform in different solvent. For that we have to take test tube, take approximately 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 gram of sample and add water. That means we have to check the solubility in water. Shake vigorously. It is slightly soluble in water. Now then check the solubility in ethanol, that means alcohol. Shake vigorously. Quinine sulfate is sparingly soluble in ethanol. Now check the solubility in chloroform, take sample and add chloroform. In chloroform, given sample is freely soluble. Now check the solubility in ether. In ether, given sample is insoluble. Now perform the solubility in the mixture of water, uh, chloroform and alcohol in 2 as to 1 proportion. For that we have to take sample and we already preparing this mixture of chloroform and alcohol in 2 as to 1 proportion. Add this into test tube. 
we'll check the solubility. Given sample is freely soluble in mixture of chloroform and alcohol. Now we have to perform identification test, test A. For that we have to prepare 0.1 weight by volume solution of given drug. This is the 0.1 percent weight by weight, uh, weight by volume solution. Then from that we have to take 5 ml of this solution. and add 2 to 3 drop of bromine water and 1 ml of dilute ammonium solution dilute after addition of dilute ammonia solution we got emerald green color this is the end point okay. now test b to the saturated solution of the drug this is our saturated solution of given drug add one drop of sulfuric acid After addition of one drop of dilute sulfuric acid, we got a slight blue colored fluorescence. Addition test for that we have to perform test A. We require 0.1 weight by uh, 0.1 percent weight by volume of given sample solution. This is already we have prepared. Now take 5 ml of from uh, this 0.1 percent weight by volume solutions of given drug take it into test tube and add 2 to 3 drops of bromine water and 1 ml of dilute ammonium solution dilute after addition of dilute ammonia solution we got emerald green color this is the end point okay. now test b to the saturated solution of the drug this is our saturated solution of given drug add one drop of sulfuric acid After addition of one drop of dilute sulfuric acid, we got a slight blue colored fluorescence. That is the, our end point. After performing the practical, we got observation. And the observation table is test description. Nature crystalline powder, color white colored, odor odorless. That means it complies the test as per IP. Solubility in water it is slightly soluble, in alcohol it is sparingly soluble, in chloroform it is very slightly soluble, in ether practically insoluble and in the mixture of chloroform and alcohol it is freely soluble. That means it complies the test as per IP. Identification test, test A, it gives emerald green color and test B. A strong blue fluorescence is produced on treatment. That means it complies the test as per IP. Result, the given sample of quinine sulfate complies the test A and B for identification test as per IP. This is the structure of quinine sulfate and the category is anti-malarial drug.
थैंक यू डियर स्टूडेंट फॉर अटेंडिंग द सेशन